Hi, I'm Jen from Tea Leaves and Tweed and welcome to another historical tea session. This week I've decided to take a look at the oldest archaeological evidence for the use of tea in China from the tomb of the Emperor Jin of Han in Xi'an, which was discovered in the 1990s by archaeologists and recently a study was published that showed the identification of tea from samples of partially decayed plant matter that were found in urns in the tomb. So this tomb dates back over 2,000 years and is considered to be the earliest confirmed use of tea. So the way that they identified this tea was they found these urns that contained this partially decayed sample of plant matter and they were able to take samples from that material and do chromatography on it and from that they were able to dis uh, discern signals for the compounds caffeine and theanine and these compounds are very specific to tea in this combination. I think they said there was one other plant that is related to tea, it's in the same family, but it doesn't usually have the same ratios of caffeine to theanine that they found in this sample. So they could be reasonably certain that this sample they found actually came from tea. And when they pulled out actually very well-preserved, partially intact pieces of leaves from the sample, they could actually compare it to modern tea leaves and even hypothesize that this was a tea that was made of a high proportion of buds. So this was likely a very fresh, young green tea with a high proportion of buds. And the other thing that they found in this sample were signals from other plant matter. So they found uh, residue of tea, barley, and other plant material. From that, they think that the tea was actually used in a sort of porridge or stew similar to the barley tsamba that's used in butter tea in Tibet. So I decided to try to recreate a sort of tea flavored barley stew according to this paper. And it did say that there were other plant matter found in the sample. And because of that, I went back to Lu Yu and looked at where he talked about tea being boiled with tangerine peel, with green onions, with ginger, and of course even Lu Yu himself allowed for the use of salt in his tea. So I've created this barley and tea stew using a very fresh uh, spring green tea from China, some barley, some orange peel, ginger, and green onions from my garden, and I boiled this until the barley started to swell and split. You can see how everything kind of cooks together and you just get these little flecks of green and the scallions have melted and the orange peel has faded into just this thick porridge-like stew. 
So let's give it a taste. Mm. I used plenty of salt. Mmm. Yeah. You get this like little bitterness from the tea and it blends really nicely with the orange peel. But it's very intensely savory. You get that little bit of spiciness from the ginger. This is a really interesting combination. Yeah, there's the ginger. I don't know that I would want to eat a whole bowl of this, but this is an interesting experiment to try tea as it would have been consumed possibly by the Emperor Jin of Han over 2000 years ago as determined by archeologists. So I hope you enjoyed this historical tea session and I hope you'll join me again sometime. Thank you, bye.